And we are live. Thank you for joining us for episode 27. I want to take a minute to thank our guests from last week, Alex at Alexa Collects uh, from Melbourne, Australia. It was awesome to have her on our show last week to go over her love of collecting soccer and NBA cards and to explain how things are in Australia in terms of collecting cards. And I do, and I will hopefully one day take her up on her showing me how to properly enjoy a Vegemite sandwich. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, due to the national happening this week, uh, basically kind of started today already, um, and it'll last till the rest of this week, a lot of our friends and colleagues and hobbyists are actually in Chicago, uh, or if not flying there tonight. Um, so uh, as a result, our regularly scheduled guest for today has been rescheduled. Um, so we'll look forward to having him back in September. Um, in the meantime, uh, Amit is currently not here. He's uh, currently doing, um, he has prior engagements with the family that is to take care of first. So he'll be joining me partway through the show. Um, but yeah, um, this is kind of a freestyle show as a result. So if there's any questions you want to ask us, go ahead. Uh, I'm looking to be breaking some wax here in a little bit. Just want to get some more people into the room and to the uh, audience here. But just to show you what I'm going to be breaking tonight, uh, folks, is some Top Series 2 blaster, Top Series 2 hanger. Uh, we've got two Bowman boxes, blasters, Bowman. So we'll see what comes out of that. Uh, a couple of the uh, fat packs there of the Bowman as well. And I'm really looking forward to breaking this one. So this is the uh, Tops UK Tops on Demand product, which was um, the uh, UEFA Women's Championship Soccer Knockout Edition sets. And each set has an autograph per set. So I'm looking forward to breaking this tonight with you all. Again, these are personal breaks for me. Um, and uh, hopefully some way through the show here, Amit will join us and he can actually help me co-host while I do the breaks. But in the meantime, if you have any questions for us or for me, please go ahead and ask. Um, otherwise, uh, I'll wait till more people come on. Then maybe I'll just start breaking. And then hopefully Amit will join us. And uh, at the same time, we'll see what comes out of the boxes. And if everybody's nice, I may break another soccer box. But I won't say what it is until we get towards the end of the show. So with that being said, uh, how is everybody doing? Oh, there we go. Yannick, yes, I'll be ripping some wax tonight just to tide some time over and uh, to, to carry the show a little bit. I don't know if you heard, but Amit's running a little bit behind. He's got some family engagements he has to deal with, so uh, he should be joining at some point in the during the show. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Dennis, uh, I appreciate you always being on our show, uh, watching. Uh, I think you've been there since day one, so I really appreciate it, sir. Um, yeah, so it should be a fun night. So if you got any questions, comments, um, let me know. We'll try to answer it. Um, but by all means, um, yeah, let's let's have some fun tonight. We'll break some stuff, and if people join in, and they can catch it. Oh, hey, I'm good, man. How are you? I, I take it you didn't go to national either, or or did you? But yeah, I'll try to carry the show while the meat is uh, off uh, taking care of what he needs to take care of. So, um, any questions for me? Otherwise, I may just get started into breaking and we'll just uh, go from there if everyone wants to see what I'm breaking. So, Yeah, we we're, we're hoping for the Toronto Expo too. Hopefully that goes very well in November. And it's going to be over four days, so that'll be interesting this time around. Uh, I'm kind of waiting to see how the national plays out, and I think that's probably what the organizer of the Sport Card Expo uh, himself is waiting to see how that one plays out as well in terms of um, making the clean, safe um, exposition, I will say. Because I think... The national will be a good litmus test for the sport card expo. So, um, what's my main PC? I, I kind of PC goats, Dennis, but I do have a huge 
non-sport PC. Uh, I don't know if you saw my post the, the other day. I think you did. Um, so I just got this in for my non-sport PC. So that's Chloe Bennett right there. And for my main GOAT PC, I got this in the other day. So that's uh, Mike Trout Transcendent 65th Anniversary Party. Uh, it's based on the 1985 design. I'm very specific about designs because I like the 1985 one because it kind of takes me back to my youth. So I really love the design. And it's hard to tell, but the picture itself I like a lot because it looks like it's a day game. It's a nice, warm, sunny day. You know, Mike Trout's getting ready to smash a ball probably. So um, I really like that picture. Um, yes, I know a lot of us, I can't wait for the expo. Me too, me too. Uh, I collect vintage hockey, so I'm spending money this year, Toronto. Yes, vintage hockey for sure. If, if you want to look for vintage hockey products or cards, for, uh, not products, cards. Uh, but yeah, the, the Sport Card Expo is definitely the place to go. There's a lot of it. And uh, as you all know, um, Jeremy of Sports Card Live, his actual booth is actually right beside ours. And Jeremy, I can say for sure, he has a lot of vintage hockey in his booth every time uh, we set up. Uh, I, I, I admire the stuff that he has in his, his showcase, for sure, for sure. Uh, love the 85. Thank you, Yannick. Yes. And uh, also got this one back today because a buddy of mine had sent it down to uh, had sent it down to the States to get it on the fast track PSA grade just before the PSA announced the shutdown. Um, so that just came back today officially in my hands. Uh, Yes, it's a Jason Dominguez Prospects Red Refractor 1 of 5, Gem Mint 10. Uh, I'm hoping this kid becomes a stud, and then I can maybe use it towards my retirement. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, th I was quite happy this came back Gem Mint 10. Um, we weren't sure if it was going to grade Gem Mint 10, but as it turns out, it did. So, yeah, it's pretty dope. <laughs> it's pretty dope. Um, so... We'll see what happens. Thank you for joining the show. That's awesome. Good to see you, buddy. Um, what's this? Great. Jeremy can take more of my money. Yeah, for sure, because Jeremy definitely has a lot of vintage hockey. I can definitely tell you that for sure. Um, it's kind of ironic how um, Jeremy and our booths ended up being together because we've known each other for quite a while. I Meat mean, has known Jeremy much longer than I have. But it's funny how things have come together kind of full circle. He's got his own show, which is very unique and dynamic. And we've got our own brand of a show, which is uh, uh, very, well, I wouldn't say very. It's slightly different from his show, but which is kind of good because it gives everybody a variety to to check things out. Uh, Dennis, what do you got there? I'm putting for the 80, oh, the 85 Tops Blue Jay set. All signed. Oh, that's awesome, man. Hopefully one day you can showcase that. Uh, we'd love to see it. That, that sounds like an awesome project. That is really, really great. Um... Yeah, so that's all I got for now, I think. But yeah, my main, main, main PC is non-sports. And Dennis, just to show you, I love sketch cards. And um, sorry, folks, I'm, I'm going to nerd out here a little bit because um, I like sharing some of my stuff that I have. So I don't know if anybody, I don't know if anybody in this room knows who NAR is, but NAR's real name is Julio. He started doing sketch artwork for the Upper Deck Marvel Premier uh, um, cards. I don't want to say back in the maybe 2010s, 12s, around that area. And uh, I had him do a commission for me. Um, and it's uh, Thor's, if you know Marvel, the universe, and Thor. Thor has this twin brother named Beta Ray Bill, who's kind of got like a, I guess, a, a, a goat or a horse's face, but he's like his twin brother. So he's one of my favorite characters and uh, Nar did this for me. So, and this is all inked by him by hand and even the coloring is done by him. So I'll share that with you guys. But the ink work on this is disgustingly sick. Uh, he does really precision artwork. And that's just a, a regular, I guess, a four by six or three by five. But he does it on actually on um, trading card size with this type of detail. 
And um, he always does like a little extra on the back. So um, that's some of my non-sport stuff. Oh, and we have a meet joining us. Hello. Hello, sir. What's going on? I was just uh, showing some of my non-sport PC to the gang. Cool, man. Sorry I'm late. No, it's all right. Oh, yeah, it, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Irving, it is dope. Um, Irving? Irving showed up? Yeah, Irving's here. Hey, everybody. Uh, hey, Todd. Oh, let me uh, let me show that. Yes, Irving, it's dope. Totally dope. He's an awesome ar artist. I have a lot. Of, well, I don't have a lot. I've got a few other pieces of his, um, but he's definitely up there in terms of sketch artists. Um, Todd, how far do you go with non-sports 60s? Um, I should clarify. When I say non-sports, it's like... Um, celebrity autograph cards and stuff like that. I don't go that far back in terms of non-sports, but I know what, I know the type of cards you're talking about. Um, yes. Hello, Irving. <laughs> Sorry about the wrong camera angle. It's in a different room tonight. That's okay. I was just uh, keeping the, the, our, our friends company until you showed up. Um, so, Meet. Uh, you can. Well, you guys can ask Meet some questions too. Besides me, I got nothing to show tonight. I'm uh, surprisingly low on inventory stuff to show, but uh, I can always tell a good joke. Um, I'm Irving. I thought I thought you'd be at the national, buddy. What's going on? Where are you at the national? That's a good question, Irving. Where are you? And while he waits to see who else we got here. We got Sanderson to Orr. It's good to see you, buddy. Dennis, I'm so glad you came out, even though we don't have a guest yet tonight. Um, oh, we did have a guest, but uh, he rescheduled for a later in September. Oh, there, there, there's Irving's answer. I leave Thursday. Are you set up or are you just per, like cruising? If you're cruising, it's probably better for your wallet. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Yannick, hey, Yannick is there. Let's see. That's a usual here. I mean, I don't know if you saw, but Dennis is putting together an 85 Tops Blue Jay signed set, which is, I, I think is awesome. I kind of figured because I saw a bunch of autos on his feed. So that's that's the that's the 85 design. Yep, I do recall that. Yeah, just cruising. It's probably cheaper than setting up a table there. Probably expensive. No, no, nothing wrong with cruising, my friend. Nothing wrong with cruising. Mind you, it's it's a lot of walking and a lot of cruising, that's for sure, at this show, at the National. It's a lot of walking. Probably like four times the size of Expo. Oh, definitely. I was saying to the guy, to the to to the friends on the in the show here right now that I think if anything, uh, Steve Menzi, who operates Card Expo, is probably going to use the National as a good litmus test. That's true. By the way, I don't know if this question here is for you, since you answered it already, was how far to go with the non-sport six? Oh, I, I did, yeah, I answered Todd. Yeah, I don't go... F I, I know which non-sport he's talking about, but I, I, I don't dabble in that particular non-sport. So uh, you going to crack some wax? I am. Uh, I will. Um, so, oh, here. Hey, Eli. What's going on, buddy? Eli, holy. Eli. How come Eli's not at the National? Yeah, why are you not at National? <laughs> why are you watching us? Not that, we don't watch what? Not that we don't want you to watch us. It's going to be really weird for people to check us out on podcast because they're going to be like, "What? who are these guys talking to? What's going on? <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's a terrible position. i got to find a better way to elevate this. I mean, why don't I get you to uh, carry on? I'm going to drop off for a second so I can rearrange the camera. So I'll be right back. You do that, and then let's see. You took the wrong camera off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> God. Sean, I'm answering your question, buddy. Um, so I'm bullish on Brady Kachuk. So I've been buying a lot of his stuff. Um, I think it'll go up. I think there's a couple of unsung heroes on Ottawa. I think Connor Brown will go up. I think um, Josh Norris is going to go up. Uh, and Stutzel. So I'm high on those four. 
uh, if I had to put them in order, I put Stutzel first, Norris, and probably then. No, sorry, no, or yeah, Brady after that. That's my goal um, in terms of what I think of notoriety. But Ottawa Senators collectors, no offense to anyone, they don't exactly drop the wallets for, for their cards. I know, I know, it's his first day by himself. He almost had to do this whole thing solo. Almost, almost had to do the whole thing solo, but came through. Although I really hate this backdrop, but it's better than the backdrop I have at home. Oh, there he is, Kent. All right. Why don't I do this? Do you want to go off me off camera and you bust so people can see the box clearly? Or how do you want no, to do let's it? just change the, uh, we'll change it. We'll do this one. We'll do uh, like that. Nope. Uh, how do we do the other way? Uh, slide your picture. There we go. Well, we had it. We had it. <laughs> there. There we go. All right. We're going to start off with this hanger box of Series 2. Let's see what hap What we get out of this. I think, who's the one we're trying to get out of this? Brian Hayes rookie, I think. And if anybody is, uh, if I'm wrong, please say so in the chat. It's, it's fine. Because I'm not always right. <clears throat> well, you have to write more often than you're not. Give me one second. I'm going to change positions here. Yeah, go for it. Thanks, Eli. Yeah, again, for those that don't know, this is a personal, all the wax that I'm bringing tonight is personal for me. Um, but maybe if people are nice, who knows, maybe I'll throw some of them to our friends that are watching. And by the way, for those of you who like to break wax, uh, Eli, Little Shop of Heroes, have breaks all the time. Um, Eli likes to show off his sexy hands when he does this. And Irving does breaks too, so those two do breaks. If you need a, an itch to scratch, check out those two. By all means, keep, please continue talking there, Meet. Uh, Sorry, I got mesmerized by the cards. Oh, no worries. If there's anything big, I'll, I'll announce it to everybody. Right now, nothing so far. This is all just base cards. Uh, oh, there's George Springer in a Blue Jays uniform. And he's not hurt. Yeah, he's actually doing not bad. He made that spectacular catch the other night. I don't know if everybody saw that. No, I haven't watched. So, oh, here we go. Here's some rookies here. Okay, we got Lewis Alexander for San Francisco Giants. My Giants, they're still in first place. Um, Irving, we would love for you to come back and actually uh, bring up some. Yeah, love, love to have you back, Irving. Love to see you back in Canada. Bring up some of that American wax that us Canadian guys can't get. Uh, oh, we got a home run derby card of Kyle Schwab. Schwab. And then we've got a Randy Johnson, one of those 35th anniversary inserts. We got a gold uh, Nick Castellanos out of 2021. We got a Freddie Freeman insert, significant statistics. Uh, we got another Mookie Betts All Star 35th anniversary insert. We got another, uh, what is that? What is this? I think it's a reprint. Uh, Francisco Lindor is the Mets. And Nolan Arenado, Jesus Lazardo, Yadier Molina. You got a blue parallel of Brandon Lowe, a blue parallel of Just Samarja, which I'm not even sure he's still playing with the Giants. Uh, we got a rookie here of Thomas or Tom Hatch of the Blue Jays. Another, look at that, another Blue Jay. Um, rookie card of Alex Kurloff. I don't know if that's. I don't think that's the. Uh, Parallel. I don't think so. No. Nope. Rookie. And then uh, I think this is all base. I'm just going to burn through it real quickly. And if I miss something or skip something and somebody sees, let me know. Uh, Jordan Avideo, rookie. Uh, a couple more rookies. Shane McClanahan for the Rays. Hong So Kim for the San Diego Padres, rookie. Rookie of Johan Ramirez. Luan Diaz. Jonathan uh, Arose, another Blue Jay rookie, Julian Weather. Wow, interesting. Uh, Mickey Moniak rookie, uh, base, 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 and more base. Okay, so that was the hanger. Well, you got the break. Oh, I got a lot of stuff, dude. I got a lot of stuff. All right, now we're going to do the... Uh, the blaster next. 
And what I do with my blade. Okay, here we go. Looking at cards is mesmerizing, especially since I haven't cracked wax in the boat. Don't you get tired of looking at commons? <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people go ape over common EM, uh, Irving. We have our, a regular slew of folks. And I just realized right. I'm talking on mute. So let me try this again. Um, no, Irving, uh, tons of people buy base cards. Uh, well, not tons. It wouldn't say tons. Um, but we get our usual odds crew that come to the expo that look at base. So it is useful, some piece. And then also, don't forget, the, you got a, a very famous artist who does a, a lot of stuff with base. Ooh, another flashy uh, Raphael Devers chrome insert. That's Tim Carroll. Uh, Fernando Tatis. So those are some of those are autographed. I actually hope opened one and I got one auto. Kent, did you? That's awesome. Uh, and that's just space. Whoops. Sorry if I'm a little slow, folks. I tend to not. I don't go. think anybody can hear me. Can anyone hear me? If you do, please chime in. I can hear you. I try not to go too fast because um, I think there's an insert in here because. Um, I don't want to damage the cards in case any of these guys end up being something potentially good. Kent, I think we lost your voice. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you guys it makes hear? Makes sense. Base cards, Dennis. Base cards. Some people love base cards. Uh, Zach Verdi. I can't hear Kent. Yeah. See. Yeah, everyone can hear both of us. I'm That's going why. to uh, refresh, and I'll come right back, folks. Give All right. A few minutes. Uh, we got Tucker Davidson. Uh, base, base, base. Oh, wah, wah, wah. we got one of these Mike Schmidt uh, Seventh Commemorative. And it is not, not numbered. A 30th anniversary card of Justin Verlander. Dylan Carlson, rookie, parallel, base, 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 base. So I finally have sound and I can hear you, Kent. I, was, I was talking to myself earlier, I guess. Um, it was weird because we could hear you. Oh, clearly we're, I'm a rookie. I pulled you off screen a couple of times by mistake. Whatever. I'm, we're not going not gonna to record this one, I guess. Um, Irving, there were people, like I said, I was going to say oh, here, but people up here collect base as well. Um, I usually take about four or five four-lane boxes to the expo up here, and people rifle through them for their sets uh, all the time. Yeah, you'd be surprised, Irving, how many people actually build sets still. Uh, I'm surprised still by it. Tanner Hook, rookie. Uh, Miguel Yajuri. Really, Irving? You threw away those base cards? Wow. Still, haven't hit a, still haven't hit a Cabrian Hayes, I think is the one that we're trying to get out of this. Uh, Irving threw out Teddy base cards, dude. What's that? Irving threw out Vladimir Guerrero and Tatis paper bar cards, paper base oh, cards. Oh, dude, Irving, they, they would go for pretty good money up here. Cody Bellinger. Uh, base. You trying to get haze out of a out of a hanger? No, this is a blaster now. I didn't get a haze in the hanger. I was oh. I was shut out in that one. Uh, God, they printed so much. Oh, we got a Chrome uh, rookie of Jose Marmolillos. Don't know him. We've got a Kenley ha Kenley Jansen who's been was getting smashed by the Giants. Uh, Alex Bregman insert. Nothing there. Nothing. Nothing. Two packs left of this blaster, and then we'll move on to Bowman. Well, Irving, to be honest with you. Outside of those two cards, the rest of it was garbage. I, a lot of people I know recycle the paper base, which I'm glad they do up here. Dean Kramer. Kramer. Uh, all, Eli, all depend all on the Delta, the Delta variant that's happening there right now. So um, the border is open. It's going to be open soon on the 9th. Um, I'm a little leery of what's going to happen between now and then, so I'm not going to say much, but... Hopefully the Americans can get a 
at least a double vax Americans can come over and that they aren't, uh, you know, going to argue with it. Hey, there we go. Alejandro Kirk, whoops, Alejandro Kirk rookie. He's actually a good rookie. Yeah. A lot of Blue Jays rookies in this series, too. I'm surprised by that. I didn't even know. Is that Aston Martin or the helm in this? Uh, he's in the Bowman that I'm about to bust next. And we got Justin Turner, blue parallel. We got the Shohei Otani, who's smashing right now with 35 home runs. Irving, how do you not have a second vaccine? You're an American. You've had second vaccines forever. Nope, nope, Cabrian Hayes. That's interesting. Oh, well. All right, folks. Now we're going to move on to the Bowman, the fun stuff. So, uh, we should have, I think there was camos in this. Yeah, you look at the end, I mean, that's kind of crazy. Hey, Joel Adele, rookie. There we go. Rookie of the Year favorite, Dylan Carlson. Garrett Mitchell, Futurist. Oh, there we go. Here's the camos. Drew Waters. Austin Hendrick. Helio Ramos, which is a really good one. Oh, a... Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, violet or purple... Uh, can't remember what this type of uh, refractor is called. May Irving, I don't know if you know that. What type of refractor this is? Is it the Lava Flow or what? I I, I always get mixed up with Panini's versions of refractors. This, but this one is Jordan Westberg. It's out of one ninety nine, so that's pretty good. I don't know if he's actually a good player or not, but <clears throat> and then we got Wander, Wander Franco. Eli, I think the fourth day is going to be all four days. They're going to be uh, Dave Cooper going to come in and the show. And the preview night is going to be the night prior, which is the when. Uh, anyway, they're speaking of the person, Brian Hayes, rookie. Oh, there you go. Uh, the day prior. Oh, Irving, that sucks. I didn't realize you caught it. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. That, sucks. Uh, that sucks, but at least you recovered, which is really good. It's atomic ice, cracked ice. Oh, cracked up. Thank you. Glad you survived it, though, Irving. All right. Uh, got another one. What was that, sir? I got no wax, dude. What do you mean? I got no wax to crack. Oh, I got a lot here. Well, not a lot, but I'll, it'll be, I'll make it interesting, that's for sure. Uh, Luis Capusano, rookie. Hey, we got Ronald Acuna Jr., who is now busted, and I'm hoping he recovers from his ACL tear because that sucked. Especially for those, I guess, who really heavily invested in him. Uh, Shane Bieber, Christian Yelich, Sean Murphy. We got a Bobby. Hey, Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, Bowman uh, parallel. Old school Bowman. Spencer Howard, top 100. Uh, Dennis, I didn't really do that ton, much of shopping. It's just kind of stuff that I was sitting on for a little bit. Uh, trust me, you're asking me. I haven't really gone shopping at all. I didn't even go to Walmart. Trevor Larnark, Robert Poston, who's supposed to be pretty good. Oh, Baron Laura. He's supposed to be pretty good, too. Ed Howard, Matt Manning, Hunter Green. I wonder what all the people at the National are doing right now. Are like, are they like all, the, all the preview events right now. We got Kyle Lewis, Max Scherzer, Chris Bryant, who's possibly going to get traded soon. Anthony Santana, Bobby Dalback, rookie. Christian Pache, rookie. That's just nice. Reed Detmers, futurist. Taylor Trammell, camo. Asa Lacey, camo. Taylor Trammell. Oh, we got a green. Uh, boo, it's not an auto, but it is out of 99. Cody Hosey, Jose, Jose, 
for the Dodgers, for the Doyers, Green, 99. Trent DeVoe, Austin Wells, Hilly Ramos. All right. That's crazy, Irving. Well, you know what? At least you survived it. We'll see you yeah. soon. Yeah. I would agree. At least you survived it. That's the main thing. Okay, this is the uh, Bowman Blasters now. I had a flea market tomorrow, so hopefully luck there. All right. Okay. Tarek Skubal rookie, Clark Schmidt rookie, Tristan McKenzie rookie, Ian Anderson rookie, Nick Madrigal rookie, Garrett Crochet rookie. We've got a town pipeline of Freddy's Fritis Nova, Tyler Ivan Forrest Whitley for the Astros, Reed Detmers, Jackson Kawar, Zach Veen, who's actually supposed to be pretty good, Reed Detmers, Logan Gilbert. Trust reminds me of Groot. <laughs> That's a good one. Jose Altuve, Pete Alonso, Manny Machado, Luis Garcia rookie, Sixto Sanchez rookie, Jordan Alvarez, Jacob DeGrom, who's just killing it this year. Um, Bryce Terang. Oh, nice. Zach Veen, green, to 99. That is a good one right there. I'm going to sleeve you up. Irving, you're not cracking wax tonight for anyone? And same with Eli. You guys aren't breaking any wax tonight? <laughs> they're watching us break wax. That's, what they're, <laughs> that's why they're not breaking any. Green was smashing it. Yeah, the Futures All-Star game. Yeah, for sure, Irving. Uh, Mike Clevenger, Matt Chapman, Javier Baez, Whit Merrifield, Joe Adele, another Joe Adele rookie, another Brian Haynes rookie. Nice. Um, Nick Gonzalez, top 100, Patrick Bailey, Kelvin Alcantara. I think this guy's not bad for the Yankees, I think. Uh, AC Lacey, Patrick Bailey, Jackson Kwar. Spencer Howard, Kelvin Marte, Joey Votto, Keston Hurria, Buster Posey. Uh, Garrett Cole, Juan Soto, uh, old, old old school Bowman parallel. Um, Keston Kirstad, I think this Keston Kirstad guy is not bad either. Uh, George Kirby, Nick Maton, Keston Kirstad again, Kevin Alcantara base. All right, Austin Meadows, Chris Bubik, Tyler Stevenson, Anderson Tejeda, Joey Bart. Oh, Nate Pearson rookie. There you go. Another J. Oh, and I got an auto right behind it. First, uh, Jackson Clough, shortstop for the Washington Nationals. Are you numbered, sir? No, you're not. I don't not familiar with him. If anybody in this room is watching, is familiar if Jackson Clough is actually decent or not, please say so in the comments. Nice, nice to hit an auto out of retail. That's pretty cool. Uh, Eli, I'll tell you one thing. People are going to be podcasting like crazy from it, so we'll be able to see quite a bit of what's going on. All right. Xander Borgards, Paul Goldschmidt, Josh Bell, Mickey Betts, Max Bregman, Jose Abreu, futurist of Francisco Alvarez, Ronnie Mauricio, I think is not bad. Bobby Wood Jr., I know is good. Alexander Ramirez, Simeon Woods Richardson, and Ronnie Mauricio is the last one in that box or pack. And I got one more box of Bowman, and then we'll get into some interesting soccer stuff. Next. Did you tell them who's coming up or no? What's that? You tell them who's coming up. I didn't catch what you said. Sorry. Has everybody, you told everyone that Emily Kless is showing up next week? I did not say it. I just let everybody read it. 
Okay, so we have a pretty cool guest next week. So Emily Kless, uh, communication manager at the Tops Company, um, is another uh, woman of the hobby that we want to bring on the show. Um, so we met her just this week. We're going to see her on uh, next Tuesday. And then we've got a pretty interesting line lineup coming up. So uh, more to come. You're right, Dennis. You're right. Well, I'm sure Jeremy's going to be doing some stuff in there. They said he was going to do. Eli, let's go to Atlantic City. <laughs> Freddie Freeman, Tanner Hook, Sam Huff, rookie. Dalton Varsho, I think is not bad. He's a rookie. Uh, Brady Singer, Alec Baum, rookie. Nice. Casey Mize, rookie. Nice. Wow, this is a nice pack. Jeremy Pena, Jer Jaron Duran, who I know got called up. And he's actually playing right now with Boston. Uh, that was actually a solid pack. If, it was, if you had to break a pack, that was a pretty solid pack. Nolan Arenado, Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, Mike Jastrzemski, Bo Bichette, Trevor Bauer, Jorge Soler, Clayton Beater, 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 Jackson Kawar, Zach Veen again, Patrick Bailey, Jackson Kawar again. Well, I'm pretty much the I want to go to um, Atlantic City. Hey, women of the hobby, Sam is here, Kent. Oh. Hey Sam, awesome! I'm just getting, I'm just finishing up Bowman, and then we'll be breaking some soccer. So stick around. I'm sure you'll enjoy the soccer break here in a minute. Alex Krolov, rookie. Jose Garcia, Andres Jimenez is another good rookie for the Mets. Dylan Carlson is another good rookie too. Miguel Cabrera, futurist of Robert Hassel, Hassel. Uh, Aaron Sabato, that's a good one. Number one, I gotta sleeve him up. Oh look, look who got the chrome is right there, right there. Check who that is. Can't see from here, and uh, I'm glad that you think Emily's awesome. We met her this week, and she is awesome. Oh, Austin Martin, Chrome, first Bowman Chrome. They should do a James Bond themed card of his, man. It's funny because every time they say Ast Austin Martin, I keep in my head. I think keep thinking Aston Martin. Yeah, the car. yeah. So do I. So I bet you he's probably got a tattoo of it or something. Awesome. That was a good, another good pack. And then Isol Mania, Hurston Kirstad, and Alvin Kamal Kachara. That was good. That was a really good pack. Actually, the last two packs were really good. Emily is awesome. We said to meet her at the National. Yeah, for sure, Sam. She is awesome. I got to talk to her. We got to talk to her the other night. She's really, really good. Uh, really good person. Uh, Gleyber Torres, Blake Snell, you Darvish, Tarek Skubel, Clark Schmidt, Brinson Stote, Michael Toglia, Calvin Alcantara, AC Lacey, George Kirby, Luis Garcia. Now I just need a base Austin Martin. That'd be awesome. Just to round out the break here. Tristan McKenzie, Ian Anderson, Nick Madrigal. I'm seeing a repeating theme here. Garrett Crochet, Jose Altuve, Pete Alonso, Dylan Carlson, Daniel Lynch, Andrew Dalquist, Nick Maton, Simeon Woods Richardson, and Ronnie Mercino. So that was pretty good break for me to get an Austin Martin Chrome uh, rookie, prospect rookie. That was awesome. All right. So, Sam, are you ready? I've got three of the tops on demand UK UEFA Women's Champions Knockout Series sets. And each of these soccer sets for the women, UEFA, has one auto and one parallel card Per box so we'll see how we do and Sam you're probably more familiar with some of the female soccer players in Euro um, so hopefully you can help me out if I don't recognize some of the names that have come out of this so I'm really looking forward to this set it took these sets it took a while to get here from the UK um, all right so I've seen people break these online so what what's happening is the first card is the hides the two hit cards. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to first of all take off this ribbon so I can get the cards out. All right. 
So from what I understand, I'm supposed to flip this like so. And then I'm supposed to count one, two, three, oops, put them to the back like so. <clears throat> Give me one second. I'll smash my cards there. All right. And then we'll go through the whole set together. So we got Lena Magul from FC Bayern Munich. Uh, we've got Linda Dahlman from FC Bayern Munich. Hannah Glass from FC Bayern Munich. Sarah Zadrazil, FC Bayern Munich. We've got Lena Oberdorf from uh, VFL Wolfsburg. Alexandra Pop from VFL Wolfsburg. Lena Gosling from VFL Wolfsburg. Ingrid Schurstad Engen, Ingen from VFL Wolfsburg. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Svenja Huth from uh, Wolfsburg. Now we're getting to Chelsea, um, which is the English Premier League Women's uh, Premier League. Pernell Harder. We've got Beth England from Chelsea. We've got Fran Kirby from Chelsea. Uh, Ji So Yoon from Chelsea. Sam Kerr from Chelsea. Steph Houghton from Manchester City. Uh, Lucy Bronze from Manchester City. We've got Ellen White from Manchester City. A lot of these ladies are actually playing Canada today in the uh, Olympic uh, soccer game that ended up 1-1, one, one, tied 1-1. One, one. Uh, Rose, uh, I think that's a mistake. It should be Rose Lavelle, not Rosa Lavelle. It should be Rose Lavelle. Uh, Caroline Weir, who scored the tying goal against Canada today. Boo. Uh, Sandra Panos from, that's Barcelona. Alexia Putalas from Barcelona. Jennifer Hermosa from Barcelona. Carolyn Graham Hansen from Barcelona. Lakey Martins from Barcelona, but I think she plays for her home country, which is uh, the Netherlands or Holland. Uh, Kellen Seeger for Rosenberg. Or, oh, sorry, Rosengard. Olivia Schuff from Rosengard. Hel uh, Helena Kankovic from Rosengard. Um, goodness gracious, Lotus. Perla Vigas Dorster from Rosengard. Um, Hannah Benison from Rosengard. And then back to the first card, which was Vivian Asse from Bayern Munich. So the parallel numbered card is here. Oh, nice. Frank Kirby out of 49 from Chelsea. That's pretty good. And then let's see who the auto is. Oh, dude, it's a one of one. How do you know? Where? Oh, okay. One of one. Who is it? Yelena Kenkovic from SC Rosengard. Nice hey. auto. Uh, uh, the women's soccer cards in general, they sign better than the men do by a country mile. For sure. If I can get it just to autofocus. Uh, can't you might have a jersey numbered one on the 49. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Thanks, Eli. That's true. Yeah, wow, this is a, a nice box so far. My goodness, a one of one. I wasn't expecting to pull a one of one, folks. I can tell you that. And a million dollar sleeve. <laughs> and uh, all right, I have to say, Kent, it's kind yeah. of nice doing a show where we aren't actually interviewing for once, but it's actually not as pressure packed. Okay. Thanks, Eli. I wasn't sure. Thank you. Yeah, I agree with you, Amit, for sure. Um, okay. So that was uh, set number one. Let's see how set number two does. I agree. I totally agree. It's nice to just kind of chill, have fun with our audience tonight, um, and not worry about where we are in terms of the questions. <laughs> yep, that's true. By the way, Dennis, to be quite honest with you, I I'm not really concerned with six votes. They don't bother me. Uh, they seem to bother a lot of people, but with COVID and the inability to get players to sign, I think you can see less focus on that. Um, I, again, I, I, I don't have a big issue with it, to be quite honest with you. Can't your thoughts? 
Uh, I'm the same um, because it's one of two things, right? Don't get me wrong. I do like on-card autos, but for example, like people that are really, really hard to get and uh, they're hard, like, and I'll just use like from soccer, for example, like to get the likes of like Messi and Ronaldo, they're not always available to sign stuff. So if you can get them to sign some stickers and they can get them into products so that we, the consumer can have actually, you know, pull goat cards with their autos on it. I'm not totally against it. I can, I, I, you know, it's, there's two sides to the story, right? So I, I get it. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I could get a goat auto that's on a sticker, I don't have a problem with that, to be honest. So I'm not going to flip through the whole deck because the deck is re repeat because it's a set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do this count to three. All right. And then we'll see what the parallel card is behind. So it's uh, Steph Houghton. 22, another one out of 49. Not not a uh, one eBay one of one, so unfortunately. So it's not her jersey number or her kit number, as they would say in soccer. Let's see who the auto is. Nine out of 10. Wow. I'm doing really good with the low numbered stuff. And it's Ingrid Sisterd Engine. Engine. Not bad, not bad. Every box have an auto? Yeah, there's an auto in every box and a one parallel. What about any more inserts or is that it? That's it. So, and this is like a complete set. So this is just, just remains like a set. So I'm not going to go through that because we already went through it the first time around. So, all right. Okay, on to the last one. If I can get another low numbered auto or something, I'll be shocked. Because I was not expecting a one on one, I can tell you that. Because honestly, I'll say that when it comes to like uh, ordering tops online stuff, I've, I've never really gotten anything low numbered ever. So this was kind of like a first. And of course, it's not from Tops USA, it's from Tops UK, uh, which is kind of fun. Who's a big bull? Sorry, I mean, who's the big pull in this? Like, who's the big draw? Uh, it would probably be some of the Chelsea players for sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Sam, if you're still there. Yeah, the one of one is nice. Yes, thanks, Eli. And it's, it's definitely nice to see women's sports cards doing well. Um, that's also we had women's hockey cards for the longest time through uh, in the game. So glad other companies are not manufacturing. All right, here we go. So the parallel is six out of twenty, and it's Steph Houghton. Did I guess Steph? Let's go. Yeah, I'm going for the rainbow. So I got one out of forty nine and one out of twenty. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, who the auto is? Let's see who the auto is. Let's see what the numbering is. One of five. Wow, let's see it on fire. And it's the first one made too, which is crazy. It's dope. It's another. Uh, it's another one of the Wolfsburg girls, ladies. Uh, Lena Gosling, one of five. Huh. Well, can't complain. I got a one of one, a one of five, and what was the other one? Uh, out of 10. So I got a one of one, an auto out of one of one, five and 10. That's just dope. <laughs> uh, Kent, just so everyone's aware, Penny Alexiak has made Canadian Olympic history. She won? Yeah. That is awesome. I think, hold on, let me just go. She got a medal. I don't remember if she won one thing. If she got gold, that's awesome. But even if she, she, even if she medaled, that means she's like, that's her sixth swimming medal in the Olympics. That's pretty dope. Hi, Alexandra. How are you doing? Thanks for joining our show. I just saw the notice come in. Now I lost it, but I'm pretty sure she won a medal. I just can't tell what it was. Yeah, Eli, I know, right? Okay, so Sam, you're still around. and this What happened there? Did we just lose a meet? 
Hey, what happened there? I got so excited, I hung up. <laughs> All right. So for, for to to to, uh, to do the night or leave the night. Actually, hang on. Before I even do that, I have to message this person because he's the one who got me the box. So I want to let him know that I'm about to break it because he might cry if there's something really good comes out of it. So, so before you do that, Alexia got bronze. Um, so just so everyone's aware, she has set a Canadian Olympic record uh, in Canada with climbing a bronze uh, medal. So that's a big shout out to Penny Alexia. Hey, Alexandra. Okay, so before I bust this, um, it's Obsidian Soccer, seven cards. It's a high-end product. Um, it's one of those ones where I guess Irving can relate to. It's one of those ones you either hit big or you go home. Who, so, who gave you the box? Ir Irving? Or the, the no, no, Wes. Uh, Wes was the one who dropped it off to me for, t for tonight's show. Um, I ended up purchasing the box off of him. So he wished me luck. And well, again, it's another one of those high-end products where it's you either go big or you go home. So I'm gonna, Kim, go uh, uh, Titmus won the uh, gold. The Aussie won gold. So Alexandra kindly pointed that out. Ah. Oh, Alex. This is Alex. Yeah, that's why <laughs> you know who this is. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um. So I'm going to wait for him to come on before I bust this because you want to actually watch me break it live. Now, it doesn't feel all that heavy, but you never know what's going to be in here. I don't want to shake it around too much because who knows, I might damage the corners or something. But I will get rid of the plastic. And I hope it comes on because I don't want to wait too long. I got to tell you guys, I had no idea when soccer cards were in a thing. Oh, yeah, they are. They're a thing. Women's soccer cards are definitely a thing. Uh. Oh, yeah. Sanderson to Orr? Yeah, big time. Um, actually, the it's, uh, I would say it parallels or rivals. I would say the, the – uh, what's the basketball product called again, Kent? WNBA Prism. Right. WNBA Prism. I would say it rivals that. Oh. oh, okay. Wes is here. All right, Wes. Again, thank you very much for uh, getting this box to me for tonight's uh, show. Appreciate it, buddy. So we'll see what comes out of this, and uh, it'll be uh, interesting. <laughs> to say the uh, it's kind of like your uh, artwork there, Meet. It kind of does. That's why I like it. It's very abstract. I like it. I'll, I'll save it for you. All right. Here, uh, I need a decoy here. Let me see. Decoy. All right, here goes nothing. Seven cards. Um, okay, this last card back here is very, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a die cut. Uh, all right. Here goes nothing. It'll either be a big, exciting pulls or a big wah wah. All right. It's hard to do that. Okay, so what's the first one? Uh, you, ew. you, Eunice Musa, rookie, Obsidian rookie. Uh, I don't know why my camera will not focus in on the names. It's weird. Anyway. Uh, this card is numbered to 75. So this one's numbered to 75. Sorry, I'm just getting a sleeve. If I can get the sleeves out, that'd be good. So that's the first card of the seven card pack. And we'll do the next one. It is a Czech Republic Jankub Jankto. And I think these are the Contra ones. Yeah, it's out of nine. Six out of nine. I gotta get Eli to say some of these names. <laughs> Jakub Ganto. 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 
All right. Next card up on the deck. Mm. Oh, I got to go the other way. It's an atomic material. With a lovely bearded person. Well, we know who this is. Oh, he's USA. Tim yeah. Howard. Yeah, I knew it the minute I saw his face. Oh, you know Tim Hart? I'm not familiar with Tim Hart too much. Uh, so what's this one numbered? 9 out of 10. No, is it? No. Sorry. 7 out of 50. 7 out of 50. <laughs> 7 out of 50. I was going to say 9 out of 10 for a jersey card? Come on. Yeah, Eli, Eli likes the easy name. I like when Eli pronounces some of the, the European names on, on hockey birds. Oh, yeah? <laughs> he gives up after like three tries, and I'm like, yo, dude, aren't you Serbian? Don't you know these names? I like these names like Adam Smith. Yeah, me too. Okay, so that's Tim Howard. All right. I wish I got my last name right, by the way. It's been 20 years. Okay, it's another one of these flip around cards, and it's pretty thick. Oh, another dude with an interesting haircut. FC Bayern Munich. And I don't know if that's a patch. I'm not sure if that's a patch or what. Or just a two-color jersey piece. Oh, another oh, piece oh. of jersey. Another piece of jersey. Mosaic material. Arturo Vidal. Oh, Barcelona. Oh, it was with Barcelona. Yeah, he's uh, he, yeah, he's with Betsy Bayern on this card. And this one is numbered 54-149. He's got some of the coolest tattoo work. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. There you go. And a working mohawk. Speaking of oh. Messi is re-signing with Barcelona, I heard. Sorry? Messi re-signing with Barcelona? I think I heard that. I'm not sure, to be honest. Okay, so we got four. We're four cards in. We still haven't hit an auto yet. Um, so hopefully this is an auto. And I think it goes this way again. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It says Paris Saint. PSG. PSG. Yes. Who is it? Could I it be Neymar? It. Come on, Mbappe. I think you got it upside down, though. Uh, oh. Nope. It's this way. It's horizontal. Mbappe. Come on, Mbappe. It's a lightning strike. No, not Mbappe. Who is this? I can't tell it from here. Look on the back. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to rec if I could recognize his face. It's at a 149. It is Ray. R-A-I. 143 at 149. Ray. Ra? Ray? I don't recognize this guy. It's the wrong PSG guy, man. Send it back. <laughs> I don't, I don't recognize him either. I was like, he must be an old school player because, because, uh, interesting name though, Ray, Rye, Ray. All right, down to my last two cards in this. Okay. All right. It's Chelsea. Chelsea, okay. Oh, no, not, it's the goalie, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, Azmir Bed Bed Bedkovic. Eli, where are you, buddy? Eli. And this one's three out of 15. Oh, was it Alex? Okay, that's cool. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know Obsidian was one of your favorites. So last card, which is a die cut card, um, and I don't know who it is. So I got to figure out which way it's going to go too. Nothing's going this way. Uh, oh, oh, oh! I think I think I know who it is. Keep going, David Alaba, Obsidian no. Vitreous die cut card, um, seventeen out of twenty. 
17 out of 20. There you go. That is my obsidian box of soccer. Again, thank you, Wesley, for getting this to me. Uh, we didn't hit anything huge, but um, it was still fun to break. So thanks very much for that. You can yeah. still dude, for sure. Okay. Um, Made it to the full hour, Kent. We did. We did. Um, but all in all, that was a fun, fun for me to break stuff for you guys to see and watch. So thank you, everybody, for staying with us. Um, that's all I've got. There's no more. I have none, none, no, nada, no more, no more uh, product left to break. So I think you know what? Uh, maybe, maybe if the group on here has any feedback, uh, if they find this interesting, we can do this again, uh, kind of off interview time, and just kind of go live and just show some stuff that we're breaking or some, you know, whatever we have. So if that's fun and people enjoy that. And yeah, well, let's let's do it. So please give us feedback. If you want us to do this, we'll do this more often. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we'd be happy to do it. I've got Just a couple of ideas, Kent, that we can try. I don't know. Let's see. Um, okay. But uh, anyway, just wanted to make sure everyone's aware. Next week, we got Emily Kless. She'll be telling us all about her travels and travails at the Expo. Sorry, the Expo. The National. We're probably, and everyone stay safe and, you know, be good to each other, and hopefully we get to the, the fall expo here in Canada. Uh, we'll take it from there. Are we, are, we, are we signing off, Amit? I don't know. Are we? I don't know. Uh, does anybody else have any other questions before we call it a night, folks? I think we're okay. I think I don't see any questions. Yes, thanks, Dennis, for sticking through the whole hour. appreciate it, as always. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You stick by every show, Dennis, so I'm glad you're here. I'm not sure about that Eli guy, but hey. Alex, thanks for coming by. Sam, I know you were by earlier, but I think you've dropped off. No worries at all. Uh, who's who's Facebook user? Good luck, sir. Wasn't that Wes? Oh, it's Wes. Yeah, sorry. Yes, thanks, 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 Alex. Appreciate it. Uh, have a good one to you as well. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll wrap it up. I mean, yeah, man. Cheers, folks. Okay, thanks for sticking by.